Howdy partners, this is Kiram with Clear Imaging. We design wicked websites for two decades, help tons of American companies. Today we're looking at an oldie, but a goodie. This is how websites used to look back in the day, um, back in the early 2000s. And we're just gonna do a design audit. We're gonna see what's, what's happening with the design and why this doesn't work, because this isn't working. Spoiler alert, this design is not working. Maybe it worked in the past, 20 years ago, but... So, it's not working now, let's find out why. First things first, there's too much information to process on this initial screen. They're basically featuring the entire website on this initial screen. If we scroll down, okay, we got some content in a footer, but let's make sure... This is probably how most people will be viewing the site, this size, okay, these days. But even if we zoomed in, it's just way too much info to process right off the bat. So everything is competing for attention. All right, we've got a strong call to action here. We've got highlighted text. We have these three uh, buttons that are screaming for attention. All right, we've got this header. We've got the navigation and a little form. Everything here is just in your face. It's kind of like opening up a, a newspaper page, all right, or a magazine page. There's just way too much information to process. The end result is either people clicking the back button or scrolling down to find something they can confront uh, looking at. Otherwise, they're forced to, to kind of grin and bear it and actually start reading some of this stuff. Because people don't read when they're on the web, they scan. So that's why it's important to have your content very bite-sized, especially on this initial screen, and use lots of headings and make everything digestible with lots of sections and go deep. You'll notice the site isn't very deep. It's quite shallow. That's because they're cramming everything into this initial view. Whereas, well, we can go over here. You know, we're breaking things down section by section making it very digestible, featuring one thing at a time. The end result is a much deeper website. This, it just keeps going and going. But that's not a problem. People don't mind scrolling down. They've been trained into it. It's not a bad thing at all to have a very deep site. It is a bad thing to have everything crammed into this initial view. And that's how websites were designed back in the day. You just smashed it all in just like that. And um, some of them would even have not even all this, but just the footer. So this would be literally it, and then there would be a little footer right here, and that's the whole website. So it's hard to digest, all right? Um, other things design-wise, their, their unique selling proposition, in other words, the thing that they're offering to the public to solve a problem, to move someone into a desired result is not super clear. I know they're mentioning cleaning, right? Clean is mentioned 36 times, cleaner, eight, cleaning, 24. It's all over the place, but everything is so crammed that I don't get it right in front of me. Like I have to, I have to search a little bit to figure out that they're all about dry cleaning, right? Dry cleaning, 15 matches, it's all over the place, but it's not clear to me. It's not done like this, all right? You know what you're getting when you land on this. Wicked website designs. On this, you have to wade a little bit through this morass to figure out that they're cleaners. So that's a really big problem. So they really need a big banner like this with a very clear heading that says what they do, all right, and then what desired result they're going to give the customer, which will then push everything down, but that's fine. That's totally fine. That's a good thing. Um, it is good that they have their call to action up here, but it should be clickable. So this is, this is the old way of doing things. This should be an actual clickable link. And then um, it's good that they do have a little form that's going to help get conversions. Um, yeah, so that's good that they have that. So those are two good points. 
Um, left hand navigation is kind of the old way of doing things. Horizontal is much better because then you can make it anchor to the top and always be present. Therefore, people always can find their way back. Okay, so that's kind of the old way of doing things. That was the norm back in the day. Not many websites had, I mean, some of them had the top horizontal, but that is the old way and you want to have your navigation top like that. So people always know where they are. All right, and then another good thing they do have is testimonials. Very good. However, they are so crammed and off to the side that they're not visible. They, they're not being displayed, so it's consumable. For instance, like this is a testimonial right here. That's very readable because it's done as, as a slide. If we go over here, there's another way of looking at it. Breaking down your testimonials like this, right? This is much more digestible or a grid of embedded reviews, much more readable than something like this. And this is all off to the side. It means it's not important. It is very important. That's why you should, you should have sections featuring the testimonials. All right. Um, moving along, there's no headings to break up this text. People scan read. So when someone actually does scroll to the bottom and they see all of this, nobody wants to read that unless they're already very interested and deep in the funnel. And you have to expect that and that's just a few percent of people who are going to be that deep in the funnel. The great majority are going to be people who are at the top of the funnel and just, you know, mildly uh, curious, not even interested yet. They're just checking it out. So a lot to be done. And um, another point, all of these uh, benefits, right, and unique selling points are really lost to me because it's being overwhelmed by these um, these graphics and then the, the font is so small and there's no heading above it there's no heading above these these benefits that's convincing me to even read them you know what I mean that's why headings are so important because the heading is going to sell someone on reading the text below people aren't necessarily going to read this text but if there's a heading that gets their interest, then they're going to read the text. That's why headings are key. So quite a bit to be done on this website. It needs a complete redesign. I wouldn't even bother, you know, taking it as is and just moving some things around. It's clearly um, needing to be completely redone. So if you want your website to be done really proper, come on down to clearimaging.com. We've been designing sites for ages. Very few web companies have been around as long as we have. Everything is custom. We make the website fit exactly what you want. There's no cookie cutter templates. You're getting it exactly how you want it until you love it. We don't stop designing it until you love it. And we've helped tons of American companies. So come on down, clearimaging.com. Come on over to contact us and let us know how we can help you expand your business and get a better image. All right, until then, thank you very much and take care.